Hey everyone, Eclisp here, and welcome back to another Gek tutorial of mine. So in this tutorial, I want to go over how to reward the player, aka you, with an item from an NPC with a script. So basically what that means, like let's say you have a quest that the NPC gives you, and at the end of the quest you want the NPC to reward you with a specific item. If that caps, maybe armor, anything, a gun, whatever. And at first, I found this difficult, but for some reason it's so easy that it kind of makes it complicated at the same time. So, let's just get um, through the tutorial. I looked it up and not a lot of people seem to know how to do it, but I assume the posts are from long ago. But yeah, so really quickly, I am just going to make a quick NPC, which if you haven't seen my other tutorials, I already made an NPC. By the way, this is done in the New Vegas Gek, but this can be done at anything, so... Um, we're not going to worry about anything. Um, we do have to worry about a voice type really quick, so that's easy. Just hear your voice. Okay. All right, and then we're going to quickly make a quest for his dialogue. Also, make sure to save because these things do freeze a lot. So we're just going to make a topic, we're just going to make a greeting topic first. I'm just going to make him say hi. Condition him, of course. Um, and then we're gonna add a, we're gonna make a new topic, and we're just gonna, th this can be any topic, by the way, it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter how many scripts are in this topic, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make a Harry Give topic, because I'm gonna dedicate this one topic to, you just say, like, give me a weapon, and he's like, okay, fine, um, just for the sake of this tutorial, and not making it too long. Alright, here you go, is what Harry's gonna say. May I have a weapon? So, may I have a weapon? We're going to randomize this because I'm going to make multiple. And then we're going to grab the condition. Which is, this is something that um, is better with Fallout 4's creation kit. Is You don't have to condition everything, but you do with this. Don't forget to add the topic to the uh, add topics, by the way, from the greeting. So, here we give topic. And then, right here. So, you can either have the script begin when the dialogue starts or the end i typically like the end for something like give but if you're ending a quest objective or stage then i like doing it at the beginning so what that means is when the dialogue starts he'll give you the item or when the dialogue ends he'll give you the item so we're just going to do player dot add item and then the item's name not the form id the name and then one or something so i'm just going to compile it um i'm surprised it told me that I was wrong right there yeah, I understand. Okay. So now we need to find an item. Maybe I, I shouldn't have to close it. I don't know why I did that. My bad. So now we're going to find an item, though. So I'm going to remove the filter. And let's go to weapons. So let's just go to weapons. So make sure, to, if you're doing New Vegas, make sure to look for Wep and V. Oh. There we go. Um, you want Wep and V. You don't want these weapons because these are all Fallout 3 weapons. Um, so let's just do. Oh, look at that. Securitron laser. That's pretty cool. Let's do a Gauss rifle. So, Wep NV Gauss rifle. So, I'm just going to double click it. I'm going to copy the ID. Close out of it. Don't change the ID, of course. And then I am going to go to here, play to add item, and then paste the ID, and then one, as in one of the items. And then I'm going to make a new topic saying, give me a, give me caps. So first of all, we're going to do say once. We're going to do say once. Um, so, may I have a weapon? May I have caps? And pretty similar, um, same thing that we did last time. We're just going to do player.add item. Um, 001 caps? No, 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 no. Caps 001. There we go. 
I think that's it. And then 50. So cap 001 is what the cap's ID is. And then 50 is how many caps we're going to get. Compile. And I guess we'll do armor really quick too. Give me caps. So we're going to go to armor. And I believe all these armors work. Is there a specific filter for New Vegas? Um, kind of is, I guess. What's this? Suit. NCI Trooper. We'll do this one. So I'm going to double click it. I'm going to copy the ID. Player dot add item. One. Compile. All right, so now I am going to put this NPC somewhere in the world. So I'm going to drop him in Good Springs, just because it's an iconic, easy place, right by Doc's house. Not on the road to Doc's house, actually. Um, so, NPC. I need to get Harry. Uh, and then we're going to save it, and let's go into the game. All right, so while I loaded in here, I realized that... I didn't give Harry any sort of goodbye, so we'll just see how that works out. So here's Harry. Um, he's not going to have any voice dialogue, of course, but may I have a weapon? All right, here you go. You should give me a weapon. Perfect. Goss rifle. May I have caps? Here are your caps. 50 caps. Um, I didn't write anything for armor, apparently, but here's your armor, and I should get the NCR armor that I uh, put in the script. If it, There we go. Perfect. Look at that. That's amazing. So yeah, that's how you do it. It's very easy, as you can see. Um, a lot of posts that I've seen online, people tried using form IDs like you do with the console command, like, you know, the whole 00581896 stuff. But um, in the GEC, you just use the ID of uh, whatever you want the NPC to give you. And this works with terminals and everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I really do hope this helped you. Um, and goodbye, everyone.